Today I'm gonna to review these ratcheting car dollies. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. I have a decidedly first world problem here. And it starts with this Toro snowblower. This is a heavy duty snowblower. It's much bigger than my old one. It is a beast and I'm looking to get it out to blow some snow, try it out, review it. But the problem with this is that last year I had a much smaller snowblower and last year I had a much smaller car here. This car is much longer and what ends up happening is that this space here that I would sneak the snowblower out is now too small by almost six inches. So it's not even really close. Like I can't just be really careful and get it in there. It, it will never fit. And so what I wanted to do here is get this car over a little bit because I won't be driving it anymore this winter and it just needs to be moved over about five or six inches, right? Uh, maybe even a little less because this is a little bit of a diagonal space right there. But I was thinking about it. I don't have to jack up the whole car and slide the whole car over. I could actually just put dollies underneath the rear wheels and pivot it out a little bit. And that would open up this space enough for me to get the snowblower up. And I was thinking about it. Well, what's the easiest way to get dollies under there? And now I have some dollies. I have kind of these standard dollies right here. You jack the car up, you put them under the wheels and then you can kind of push the car around. But of course, uh, to make it even easier, I thought, why not get those hydraulic foot jack ratcheting dollies? That way I can put them under there, just step on it, ratchet that up, get the car pushed over and then release it and just leave the dollies there. So in the spring, when I want to move them back, they're there, but they're not putting any pressure on the tires. The tire isn't actually sitting on them and, you know, deforming them in any way. So I thought, well, that'd be a great way to just make a quick adjustment here, both now here in the winter and then also in the spring when I want to undo it. So let's get these things unboxed and see if they'll work. So here's what I bought. It should be a set of two Stark 12 inch mechanic vehicle positioning jacks. You can see how they work there and the little foot pedal there to lift them up. 1,250 pounds each, I believe. This box is actually pretty heavy. Oh, interesting, 3,000 pounds, 1,250 pounds doesn't seem to add up to me but I thought we would get this open and try them out all right got them unboxed I do have two of them here uh, they are pretty well greased the little ratcheting teeth down there and I think I figured out how these work first of all these little casters there on roll pretty smoothly I also like that we have these rolling tubes here to um, support the tires so that actually as the tire moves, you know, as these kind of compress in and close in on it, they will roll with the tire so that you don't get like dragging, hot spots, creaking, you know, jumping, any of that kind of stuff. Here is the working portion of the ratcheting lift here. And you can see we have a little loop here holding the ratcheting lever down, which is really nicer storage. You can see we have some pretty big knurling on the little step piece there and what you can see here is what we can do is spread this out and we can open this up really wide so that we can get it around the tire when it's sitting on the ground now once we have it around the tire what we'll do is we'll step on this piece here and you can see here that little arm goes in there and pushes on each of the little teeth and pushes them out in order to start ratcheting you want to flip this little lever and what that'll do is it'll engage this other tooth right in there down too. So now when you push down, it won't allow it to open back up. So every time you ratchet a closed one notch, it will stay in that position. So when you are done, you just want to go ahead, make sure that that tooth is holding in place, flip this down, and that will disengage that other little tooth there. And now you will be able to let the car back down. So let's try it. So on this car, I have 20 inch wheels. I've got the jack opened up to its maximum width here. And we are just gonna go ahead and try to slide it on. No problem, plenty of space just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the switch up here to engage that other little tooth. And now let's start stepping on this thing, get this out of the way and see if we'll lift it up. I also wanna make sure that all of this hardware is far away enough from the wheel that it doesn't contact it and scratch it. You can see it closing up on it. Well, I've got the tire ready. And luckily this winter, I've been eating Christmas cookies, which is putting on the poundage, which is allowing me to 
ratchet this a little easier than probably you light people. All right, look at that. And that tire, it's off the ground. Cool, let's get the other side and see if we can move this sucker. All right, I got the other side ratcheted up too, wheel off the ground. Now I kinda wonder, can I push this thing over six inches? And then to lower it back down, just flip the switch all the way back down, just like that. And now what you want to do is step on it all the way down and that'll disengage the little tooth, engage the big tooth, lift up, and it will release it one notch. Now you can hear it kind of reset. You want to let it reset all the way to the top and then do it again. And eventually the tire will fall back to the ground. All right, now the car looks totally cockeyed, but it's not hitting anything over here, which is nice. And hopefully I have the six additional inches over here to get my snowblower out. Let's find out. All right, moment of truth. Woohoo! look at that. Room to spare. Sweet. Problem solved. Hey, these jacks are pretty awesome and they store pretty nicely too because once you close them back up, they're actually not that big, see? So, hey, if you wanna be able to move your car around, you don't wanna to have to get out your floor jack or worse, the little bottle jack or something like that you have in your shop, something like this can make it a lot easier. If you wanna pick up this set, I picked up this set of two because it was one of the cheapest I could find and I tell you what, everything about it is pretty nice. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. Mm -hmm.